humans just flew a helicopter on Mars, and we've got pictures to prove it. After more than six years of development, a long flight to Mars and some nerve-wracking delays, NASA has finally launched and landed its Ingenuity helicopter. Altimeter data confirms that Ingenuity has performed its first flight, the first flight of a powered aircraft to another planet. This is the first powered and controlled flight we've ever completed on another planet, and NASA had to overcome some pretty impossible odds to do it. In fact, there was a chance this flight might not have happened at all. During a final high-speed test of the rotors, the helicopter's systems aborted, and NASA had to beam up a software update from Earth. But Ingenuity finally took to the Martian skies, and thanks to cameras on board the helicopter and on the Perseverance rover, we got an amazing view. A black and white camera on the bottom of the helicopter gave us shots looking down on the Martian surface, while a colour camera gave us a view of the horizon. But it wasn't just the cameras on Ingenuity, Percy the rover was watching the whole thing. There are two mast cams on Perseverance that sit about 2 metres or 6 feet off the ground. These cameras recorded both a close-up and wide-angle view of the flight as Ingenuity spun up its rotor blades, lifted into the air, and then slowly landed back down. Ingenuity had to conserve battery power after its flight, so NASA was only able to downlink a couple of black and white images shot by the chopper itself. But the Mastcam Z system recorded the flight in full colour, giving us an awesome view. Ingenuity's flight was billed as a technology demonstration, part of the larger Perseverance rover mission which touched down on Mars on February 18th. The rover is there to find signs of ancient life on the Red Planet, and it's already achieved a number of firsts, sending back the first full-colour video of a Mars landing and the first audio from the planet's surface. But after Perseverance nailed the landing, it was time for Ingenuity's moment in the spotlight. The helicopter travelled to Mars tucked under the belly of the rover, which is about the size of a compact car. Ingenuity might be a featherweight compared to Papa Percy, but it's also a seriously impressive piece of machinery. It's completely autonomous and self-charging, with two pairs of four-foot-wide rotor blades that counter-rotate to lift off in the Martian atmosphere. The atmosphere on Mars is 1% the density of the atmosphere on Earth, meaning there's not much for the rotor blades to push against to gain lift, and that was a huge challenge for the NASA engineers. That's why the blades had to be so wide. They need to spin at more than 2,500 RPM to actually lift the helicopter off the ground. Ingenuity also needed to be incredibly light. The entire body, including the solar panel, batteries, computers, rotor blades, and landing gear, had to come in at 1,800 grams, or less than four pounds. According to the project lead for Ingenuity, Mimi Young, that involved a lot of iterating and shaving off unnecessary mass, ounce by ounce. But even with all those weight concerns, NASA did hide one little Easter egg on Ingenuity, a piece of the Wright Brothers plane, Kitty Hawk, which took the first powered, controlled flight on Earth in 1903. Now, more than a century after the first flight on our planet, humans have done the same thing with a four-pound helicopter flying itself on another planet more than 100 million miles away. To get to this point, Ingenuity had to survive a seven-month journey through space, followed by seven minutes of terror as its rover descended to the Martian surface. Perseverance had to blast off the helicopter's protective shield and gently place it on the rocky surface of Mars. The helicopter had to survive its first sub-zero night, charge up its batteries by itself using its solar panels, and then spin up its rotor blades for the first time to make sure they actually worked on Mars. And despite a couple of technical difficulties, it passed with flying colours. NASA only had a relatively small window to test fly its drone, 30 sols or Martian days, which is about equivalent to 31 Earth days. 
They played it pretty safe with this first flight, but now they have the chance to do four more flights, going higher and further and potentially even recording sound. And all of these flights are going to bring in more data and more images for the world to see. And that's the real potential of Ingenuity. It's proof that we can bring an aerial dimension to our exploration of new worlds. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be sending little drones to scout around new planets and to venture to places that humans can't reach. Like the Wright brothers and Kitty Hawk, this is just the first liftoff, but it's the start of so much more. But tell me what you think. Do you want to see them torture test this helicopter on Mars? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're here, speaking of torture tests, why don't you check out this amazing SpaceX video I did over here? If you want to see some rockets blow up, I got you.